Particle Man, Particle Man. Hey there, everyone. Zhao Cao playing ASMT. We did this. We got one more half to go. I mean, it's not impossible that I might be able to go through it. Oh, right, this one. <laughs> All right, oh, wait, no, but you broke it. It's not giving me the spins. And I'm just falling through the world. <laughs> oh, I'm a giver. <laughs> That's it. That's this one. <laughs> All right, let's go for broke. Uh, oh, that's another long loader, huh? Okay, Guts Dozer and the Blue Girl. All right, this one's pretty hard, but uh, it's pretty much, I believe it's the hardest one of those that are left. So if this can go okay, yeah, here at this point, you are running at full caliber and that's not enough. I need to be running at fuller caliber -er -er -er. Basically, I need to be running at full speed, but it's because if you run at full speed at the wrong time, I feel like you're just too much in front of the screen and you can't really see where you're going. So it's kind of a balancing act. We'll see how this goes over time. Video games exist. Do you know that? I don't. Because, like, yeah, like, I can be running here against the edge of the screen here, but it's not really impressing anyone. Like, I could do that, but like, I want to be able to see. Uh, if you, if you run, okay, that's a good idea. So, hmm, so you can jump as soon as you see the arrow. And yeah, and then okay, you gotta go faster now, spikes. Yeah, this this is barely playable. <laughs> like One, one step further. Woo. Ah, oh, shoot. Like, I, you do not have time to, like, I have time to react to there is an arrow here. Like, I can tell that there is a blue shape. But I do not have time to determine what that shape is. They would need to be different colors or something. Uh. Oh, shoot. Yeah, it's that brand of... Uh, it's that brand of homing bullet that feels very good to interact with at the end of this. Turns out that section is super short though. Like, I don't Like, I need to not miss my stupid jumps, but... That's all I need. That's all you need. Two bounce on bullets. As long as you don't miss one, you're gonna be fine. Oh man, I cannot understate how terrible that feels to play though. Like, Sumar World has some of the best feeling platforming controls out there. And to mess around with that by using like custom speed up blocks seems to be like criminally missing the point. Welcome to the Blind Jump Parade. I think this is safe. Yeah. 
Yeah, named as such because of a thing. So I think you can understand what's going on here. These little guy, they mimic what Demo does. And they're even gonna like lean down. But then here you're here and it's like, surprise! It's like, okay. Alright, if you say so. You're like, uh. Then you're like, uh. Then you're like, Whoa. Then you're like, yeah, that's right. You gotta remember all these words, they're very important. Then you got just like sections like this where this guy is in the way, so I can't think of any solutions other than doing that, where you just kind of run against the wall and force him forward a little bit. But then, yeah, you got these sections where it's just like, yeah, we're doing it. We're jumping. Yeah. Wah boo. Alright, I mean, for blind jumps, these can't be that bad, considering I just one shot, like, a big chunk of it. Uh? Uh! That was kinda close. And yeah, considering I just one shot the whole section. <laughs> okay! Alright, here we go. That went. That part honestly feels very good. Now we're playing Metroid 2 for the Game Boy. Never played this game, ever, before. Uh, I forget where I want to go. Oh, we're exploring a little bit. Like, I think that's lava or something? I, I don't know. These guys, they're just little, like, weird little chainsaw tails. They got things to say about how to properly cut wood. That guy is full of spikes. I could see here that the floor was just kind of a bit weird. Uh, that's right, you can explore a bit, then... That's a missile on the ground. Or is it? Because, yeah, like... Oh, I mean, okay, if you can just kind of stay there. Yeah, you follow me, set me free, just go ahead and say hello to the kitty. What? Oh, jeez. Yeah, okay. No, you just went through the wall! Alpha! Alright, if I had like one more hit, if I had to touch that capsule, I would have been good. Well, guys, boys and girls, both, any, um, minions, uh, I think we're finishing the game because that went real well. I am feeling it. And the last little part is completely free. So yeah, so you can go here and get a power up here, right? Yeah, look at that E. It's mine. Did not see you there. That gray on gray action, man. A feast for the eyeballs. All right, well, um, let's take our time. Is that Metroid 2 music? Like, that doesn't feel like what I would imagine sounding, but I got I just don't know. The 2D Metroid just never really spoke to me, which I always found a little bit weird, because I feel like, in terms of atmosphere, this should be my thing. I just got hurt there. Ah, dang it. Yeah, can you, like... Ugh. What is the sprite, and what does it do? Dang it. Okay, did it count there? Cause like, that thing is like, in there. Okay, I could- uh. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that just went through you! Rude! Okay, two, one... Wait, is that? Oh, there's a missile there. Oh, and but up, but up, but up, up. <laughs> a missile just kind of fell out. We did it! This last thing. This is how I originally ended the trial of Iron. Oh, well, not with this cutscene. Because it was not easier to arrange. Not easy. Why did I say? Because I mixed up with Lingerer right above it. <laughs> Kinda? Depends what corner you're at. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, I uh, just put a normal guy. No timer. So, yeah, the original challenge of this was that there's a timer. Now there's not a timer, so this is literally free. Now, the original, original version 
also had a boo cloud and it was hilariously unfun. And like the shells would turn invisible and stuff and it was just, it turns out that I was like, all right, this is not working. Yeah, it was bad enough that old bad level design cow was like, no, this is not working. Yeah, I don't get it either. I don't think he's gonna go there, huh? So, the end result is this boss is like a weird amount of busy work of just getting those three shell down that device and getting something done. And that's about it. Which, I mean, fair enough, I guess? I don't know anything. That throw is weirdly rough, honestly. I wish I had the little hits from, uh... Beats, like the two beats, like I'm just like, oh, you're supposed to do that, and then you do that, and then I didn't do it. All right, there you go. Got it. You got a old school scroll style. What am I saying? You do that because you can't scroll while holding an item, so you can do that. And then it's gonna bounce in that bathtub. Oh my God, Mark was hurt. Do it again get an extra shell because I just put all four colors of shells because that's what you do. Well, blue shell there. Hang a little bit of a flash. It's fine. Just update your drivers. Dang it. Uh, got derb. Uh, there we go. You do have to kind of throw yourself forward a little bit. Poppo and the friend Mappo. No, you can bop that blue shell against that yellow shell, and that will destroy them. Thus putting you in a winless state where you have to just throw yourselves on the spike. So that's where the challenge lies. Rushing and destroying your own shells. What a fool. I did it. I put the game. I did it. His eyes are now X's. Can you feel it? Can you feel us? So we are alive. Well, he's gone, so I'm just gonna fly. Hey, Con. What are you doing here, Convoy? Convoy Conroy? Finally! <laughs> uh, that's funny. Apparently the ending changed a little bit since when I played. Yeah, no one's there. I think it's supposed to be a sequel seek into... A2MT. Why is the instrumentation, like, real bad? I don't know. We did it! I beat the game! We're in the credit! I'm invincible and yet there are people who have safe state through this game! That, um... That didn't know so they would save state through the whole thing and that's kind of funny. You got a very limited time limit up there, it's kind of scary. Yeah, so! ASMT! It's fascinating how the mood shifted entirely in the last few videos, but the difficulty just kind of like went out of its world. Uh, it was very weird and awkward. I think that the lesson to learn here is that don't force a team of, you know, Sumar World hacking beginners to create eight separate gimmicks for the end. Like, you didn't need to be eight, could, could have been a lot of things, but here we are. At last! Uh, overall, I've super enjoyed my replay, and I hope you guys did too. Um, Psy Ninja, thank you for the comparative look. Uh, look for his comments, or uh, his post on a talk house, that like, combine his comments together. I don't know why the music chosen for the credit is so just down-tempo though. It is a decision that was made. Um, but yeah, uh, I've enjoyed myself quite a bit. I feel like, for the most part, the game holds up pretty well. Like, I don't wanna toot any horns here or anything yet. You can get hurt, but don't worry, you're gonna be fine. Like, I don't wanna toot no one's nobody, but no, yeah. I thought it was pretty good. Like, honestly, this was genuinely fun it, like there were there were levels here and there that were kind of something else but you know they're just you just have to accept that there will be no true difficulty curve that's a big old heart for Zangief to live in 
Russia's one big heart. Everyone knows that. All right, video game is love, at least sometimes. Yeah, I'm a bit curious about the timer up there. What's gonna happen here? Three, two, one. <laughs> you just continue. That's so good. Wow, I would have just died there. That is so good. I love it. <laughs> You're just invincible. Even the hole won't kill me. Look. Boing. <laughs> um, it would be kind of neat to see like uh, how many deaths you would accrue through this, but like that that would be asking for way too much. Like I understand why that's not a thing, and that's fine. Bop the bat, sleeping bat, yo. Hey, Rao Cow, should you not then do a replay of a Super Mario World Central production? I've thought about it, but the reality is most of my memories, because like it is kind of a companion piece to this game. Like I feel like ASMT in production are linked in a way. They feel like cousins in a weird way. Hey, only Sprite of the Yellow Submarine. <laughs> Um, well, there's two of them, but you know what I mean. But, like, the only memories I have of production, and this is really too bad, and that's the case, is I just remember how just angry that game made me. Like, as early as World 2, levels just get sprawling, and, like, really merciless. And, you know, they made me see say things, voice acting, and, uh, like, I just, I don't know. Like... And my fear, if I were to replay production, is that the commentary, both from me and from the audience... Like, I don't want to just spend two months punching down on a game. Like, that is definitely not what I want. Whoops. And I'm, there's just a realistic chance that... Whoa, you're Maverick. Ah, you caught me by surprise. There's a realistic chance that that's just what was gonna happen, and... It's not what I want to do. Like, I'm not saying it's absolutely, definitely off the table. But I feel like it requires some thoughts. I don't know. Hey, Raokan, when are you gonna do a replay of A2MT? Now, see, that I feel is more interesting, because... Uh, once upon a time... Oh, should I forget if your name is Toby or Tony? But, like, a few years ago, someone showed up at a talk house out of nowhere and just kind of assemble A2MT all together. So you got all the levels together in one place with all the map constructed, so no need for the fish market. All the treasures are filled up with a whole bunch of new art expressly made for the game by Rena Turnip, I believe. And uh, they even like implemented the parrot system where you can exchange the Parrot coins to open up shortcuts on the map. Like, it's it's all a big old production. Of course, though, it's still the level design. And there is one level that is the same. Uh, what am I talking about? There's one level that does not work. That, like, the custom block is messed up. And it insta-kill you on touch and it's not supposed to. Like, honestly, it's the Donkey Kong Country level. Like, if that was fixed... I would extremely, extremely consider, for real, doing a non-zombie run of A2MT. I think it's something I really want to do. Is that to me it's important that that particular aspect is fixed? And I don't know, if anyone can do it, then it's something I'll probably make time for at some point. Not now, though. Like, it wouldn't be coming up next. But down the line, I think it... Could be fun! <laughs> I don't know, but I think it would be interesting. I beat the game! Coming up next, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, okay. So I think the way it's gonna pan out... Um, there's this uh, very obscure AP classic video game. There, there's a bunch of games about that. It's called Mega Man. Like, so you know how there's a lot of, like, fan levels of Mario? Imagine if there were some fan levels of Mega Man. Pretty wild, right? Like, if there was, like, a, I don't know, like, an abstract level design contest for it or something. 
probably will never happen. I don't know why I'm mentioning that right now. It's probably some of that wacky pretended randomness.